What you and I are witnessing right here in this line chart is the effect in animal model. I want to caveat that in animal study. It results in the oral consumption, to be fair, through garbage of Manuka honey. I think it was a methylglyoxal rating of 550. What we have here is ER positive cancer cell representation. And in this bar chart, you see the control? The ones that were not getting the Manuka honey compared to Manuka honey, they were fed Manuka honey, the oral garbage, twice a day up to 14 days. Then after 14 days, remaining 42 days, just once per day. And the results, as you can see, are quite phenomenal. Now, before I proceed again, preliminary animal study. But beautifully intriguing backstory we're going to get in depth into in a few seconds. But let us begin. All right, again, pretty phenomenal, just the same. Preliminary study shows potential Manuka honey as a nutraceutical for breast cancer. A new study led by investigators at the UCLA Health Johnson Comprehensive Center found that Manuka honey could potentially be an alternative natural option for breast cancer prevention and treatment, particularly for estrogen receptor ER positive breast cancer, the most common subtype of breast cancer that accounts for about 70 to 80 percent of all cases. Now let's get into the preclinical. Manuka, I'm only going to take a few of the highlights out of this particular list. Manuka honey significantly reduced tumor growth in mice with ER positive breast cancer cells by 84% without affecting normal breast cancer cells or causing major side effects. Higher concentrations of Manuka honey led to a greater reduction in cancer cell growth. It kind of adds credence. Manuka honey reduced the proliferation of cancer cells, but not affect, did not affect the growth of normal human mammary epithelial, epithelial, epithelial cells, indicating it might target cancer cells specifically. Here is the backstory which led the researchers to explore Manuka honey orally in the case of breast cancer. To proceed, I move a little fast and slow down in the more pertinent uh, areas. Historically, Manuka honey has been used in traditional medicine for wound healing, urinary and stomach symptoms, and to control fever. Extensive scientific and clinical evidence supports the utilization of honey for wound skin reactions and damage to epithelial, epithelial barriers following radiation treatment and or chemotherapy. There's your footnotes. In patients with chronic wounds, honey is reported to activate the innate immune system, inducing the migration of neutrophils, macrophages, stimulating angiogenesis, and preventing infection. Emerging reports currently indicate that Manuka honey being rich in polyphenols and flavonoids also has a notable anti-proliferative proliferative, proliferative effect against several human cancer cells. The back line. A special note, independent reports provide additional evidence for the induction of apoptosis in cancer cells, including breast and colon cancer, cell, colon cancer cells and melanoma. Now, when allude, also look at it, allude to potentially um, pancreatic and certain forms of lung cancer. To proceed, a by Manuka honey treatment in vitro at concentrations as low as 0.6 weight to volume. Moreover, more over, moreover, moreover, results of recent investigations show that administration of Manuka honey in vivo living organisms exhibits significant anti-cancer activity when given alone and helps prolong survival when using combination with certain chemotherapy and preclinical animal models and tumor models, I should say, mouse, mouse models. All right, now let's look at the methodology. You got the gist of it from the very beginning, but the methodology, Manuka honey, the one they utilized, not a particular brand, the methyl glyox glyoxal rating was 550 plus. That glyoxal rating is what gives Manuka honey its antibacterial and antimicrobial properties. Again, without interjecting publisher bias, we'll postulate. The control, interesting. A mesquite honey. Again, doesn't mean there's not benefits to that in other arenas, but it was an interesting to utilize that as control. To proceed, we're going to look at the conclusion from the full study, and then we're going to look at the conclusion from the published study. Now, I should say the published study is more like the public study that's usually submitted to uh, news organizations, where the full study usually is shared amongst researchers. To proceed, these findings indicate that natural compounds such as Manuka honey with significant anti-tumor activity and selectivity toward hormone-receptive positive breast cancers 
may be further developed as a supplement or potential alternative to cytotoxic anti-cancer drugs that have more non-selective adverse effects. Now, look down below, you see the supplemental materials, pancreatic and non-small cell lung cancers as well. The full studies are quite fascinating if you ever get an opportunity to delve into it. Now the one for the press release. Quote, these findings suggest that Manuka honey could potentially be developed into a natural supplement or even a standalone treatment for ER-positive breast cancer, particularly for patients who experience resistance to traditional therapies. Again, with that in mind, I want to bring up that one line chart, which I showed you, line plot, which I showed you prior, just to absorb that. It's quite amazing, but again, preliminary animal model, uh, but still it's the same, oral garbage. Now, that overall is really groundbreaking news. So once again, you, you got to take this, it's fascinating. You got to take this in perspective, how awe-inspiring much of this research is, especially to nutraceutical te technology. When they could possibly allude to a standalone treatment just for the consumption of Manuka honey, you know how groundbreaking that is? If, again, uh, it was focused on more often, per se, it is just phenomenal. But still, you have to give credit where credit is due to encourage research like this to proceed. So gratitude to the researchers, you hear me say it all the time, I am a humble you watch out of all the things out there to watch. And again, I look forward to see what you and I get to share next week. Again, catch you all later. See you next time. Bye.